I've been going to the scrapyard quite a bit, and every time I go there, there's another one of these flap belt pulleys. I believe a lot of the ones I'm finding are off of tractors. There's still quite a few there that are on big equipment with like belts and stuff galore. So I'm probably gonna have to get a cutter to cut those off because I, I wanted to keep all of them. There's more there than I need now, but I think this is probably gonna be one of those times where in a decade, I'll look back and think, I wish I bought all those. A lot of them are from tractors, but some of them are actually from equipment. I picked that up yesterday, or no, uh, two days ago. And it actually has babbit bearings on it, but it's severely rusted up. Let's see if we can break it open. Oh! Ah. I'm not so familiar with the eras of these, but I imagine with babbit bearings like these, this might be from World War One or so, or, or, or older. not turn very well. That one seems to turn slightly. Yeah, that turned a bit. This big nut. Well, this is funny. I never thought I'd have a use for these wrenches, especially not like a week after I restored them. But big. Small. Oh. Oh, perfect. So let's see. Now it's just rotating it now. It's acting like a bearing. Who'd have figured? Oh, and that was working too. Wow, isn't that nice? I should probably see about buying my own sockets because I keep using this one socket that I keep meaning to give back to my father. He probably needs it. Oh! Fuck! I thought they'd be stuck. That's gonna bruise, that's for sure. <laughs> ah, well. Wow, this is... This is a lot nicer than I thought. I thought this was gonna be a huge issue. That's why I started hitting it so hard. Or not. <laughs> They're pretty scored. Might be from whenever I was bashing it though. And a lot of rust. But from what I understand, these Babbitt bearings only need a re-pouring and they're good to go because it really is just a, a mold for the Babbitt. And yeah, that is Babbitt. That's so cool. Okay, looks like they put a gasket between there. Seems smart. Hopefully this time I won't bust my knuckle. Actually, I didn't bust my knuckle. I, bu I busted the, the middle piece. Oh, well. oh yeah, those are gonna be stuck. Not too bad. Seems full of surprises. I think this would probably be one of those ones that would be like inside. Okay, so it's actually stuck on the bottom again. Um, didn't seem I actually have a, a socket that'll fit into that little square recess there. I wonder if I would have had a square bolt that would fit in there perfectly. That'd be interesting. You know, for these, I might weld little tabs on there, making them square so they just sit in there and we all won't have this problem. Oh, look at that. my work. It does.
If it worked for that side, might as well put it on this side. Oh, awesome. I wonder when the lock washer was invented. It's possible to tell how old this is, if that is original, of course. The bolt spun, but the bolt is stuck on the nut. I think it's starting to go. Oh. All the rust coming out of that nut, just like going everywhere. I bet this thing hasn't been opened since World War II. Some heat might have been a good idea. I might need to get some heat on that big nut eventually. Still pretty tight. a lot of gunk. Oh, I'm gonna keep that on there. Ah, oh, look at all that. That's nasty. Looks like that's a piece of leather. Or maybe it's a piece of cardboardish material. Yeah, it might be a newer gasket material. But it sure looks like leather. This might have been painted blue. I see a bit of blue paint. But I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of blue paint seeped in whenever they were painting it. So maybe they poured the, the bearing and then painted it blue and some of the blue came in and was preserved. It's interesting. You know, I think these can be cleaned up and they'll probably be good as new. At least for what I'm doing, because I might have this, like, run my steam engine setup whenever I make that or whatever. The shaft's pretty far gone, but I think I could probably turn it on the lathe and make it... I, I mean, it can be rusty here, but I'll, I could just turn the ends and it'd be nice. Looks like this one's kind of loose, but this one's not. I wonder what those connected to. Something flat that went in there, like a, I don't know. It's odd. It was obviously loosened up and put it on there very uh, loosely. Like they took it off, expecting they were going to use it again. So they put the nut back on and they just threw it out in the farmyard or whatever. And because you know every farm has a little little scrap pile, and nowadays that's what these people are doing. They they go through other people's farms and be like, hey old lady I can throw you all your scrap and they just let them have all the scrap and it ends up in the scrap yard it's nice it makes like a little cup for that to go on that should drip down 
Uh, but it's not. <laughs> oh. She's going to knock everything off the workbench. It's not going to actually undo the, the nut. So, let's try some heat. You can stay off now. I imagine I can get this part without heat. I'm so glad I picked up these wrenches now. I thought they were just going to be like, uh, I thought that, well, I was hopeful I'd be able to find use for them, but I thought that I was just going to fix them up and they'd hang up and I'd find use for them 10 years from now, not eight days later. It's fucking hot. Cook a potato with that. Toss it outside to cool off. You know what? Here we go. You know what? Maybe I should just make a I probably shouldn't be doing all this work on my workbench because it's gonna collapse on me. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, still pretty toasty. <laughs> that thing holds some heat. on there quite quite a bit oh. that's cool
I'm killing my mallet. <laughs> oh well. I have this uh, tiny flat belt from my neighbor's, well I got from my neighbor's forge. I might be able to do something. And this random antique handle that I have no idea what it does. But I picked it up because it's cool. Well, the idea definitely works. It's just a really tough washer type thing. A little bit longer. Oh well, it was worth a shot. on there good quite tight <sighs> to tell you the truth I wasn't expecting to get this far today I thought I would have struggle with just the the Babbitt bearings I'll get a different one I just realized my wrench is cracking looks like it's quite old though it isn't very good Oh, look at that. My little Billings fits perfectly. I might have just enough WD-40 to, to do this. It's working. And I guess, I guess that's just kind of what an impact driver does. It just lightly taps, well, hardly taps, but you know. It looks pretty good. Not all rusted to crap, so it makes me hopeful. See, I'm, I'm really just swinging it with my middle fingers.
and it's starting to go but ever so slightly I can just if I close one eye and I look at how far over this is moving it's just ever so slightly going oh there we go it's really starting to go now perfect no heat required What if I could actually get this off without a hydraulic press? That would be amazing. This one's threads look nice and clean as well. So that's good. That's nice. Hopefully... Oh yeah, the inside looks pretty nice. Hopefully this shaft... Once it gets into here, looks nicer. I'm on the last little bit in this can. I guess that's a weight that they put on there. Oh. Or, hmm, either it's a weight or it's for, yeah, it's probably a weight. It's the number six on it. But it, if it was a boat, I would think it's probably like a, a zinc thing, but no. Oh, well. Looks like they maybe they wrapped the shaft in something. Or that's just rust. It's kind of coming apart as rust, though, so maybe that's just rust that came through. By the way, it's nasty shit. Now there's something else I picked up at the scrapyard with it. Oh. I can make my own screw press instead of a hydraulic. Not exactly straight anymore. God, it's working. Look at that. Yes, it actually worked. 
And I was really beating on that thing too. And there we have it. And that still has the machining marks on it. It's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to be restoring them now because I don't have quite a use for them. But I just want to break them free. I can't believe I got them free. It did take five hours though, to be fair. It's fucking windy out here. Well, it's too windy outside to really have good audio. So my plans for this is to stash it over by my lathe with the other um, flat belt pulley wheel. And whenever I figure out what I want to do with this, then I'll restore it. Because, well, I might, I might, once I get a certain point, I might restore them all, but like I'll paint them all black or I'll do them in the same way. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do them. Like I don't know if these babbit bearings will go on this shaft. Like this shaft might be too far gone. But what I, from what I understand, I can just turn this shaft down on the lathe. It might not be, the uh, lathe might not be long enough for this piece. But I know like Thermionic Man's lathe will be long enough for this. And if it's smaller, for the parts, because you know, like the middle parts, they can be rusty, it's fine. It can be pitted, sorry, not rusty, but it can be pitted. But where the bearings are, it has to be perfectly smooth. But from what I understand with Beba bearings, you can make them, the shaft smaller and just re-pour the bearings so it's a, for a smaller shaft and it should work fine. And that pouring will be its own whole thing. I don't know if I want to use these bearings on this shaft, maybe use them on a different one. So I'll just keep these in my little arsenal of collecting parts and uh, I can't believe I got these apart. Especially this. So that that screw press that I made is going to be a future video. Um, I'm going to be making it a lot nicer. But I would like you guys' help. I want to know what kind of name I should give it. Because like Arduino vs. Evil, his screw press was a little screwy. And I think he had a uh, micro screwy, a little one. So I want to know what, what mine should be. Probably some other thing like, um, well, I don't know. I just want you guys' creativity because I can, I can put the name on that. And uh, so, yeah, I look forward to that press video in the future because that screw press, I was amazed by that. That was pretty amazing. So, 
So I'm, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna buy as many of these I can. And then like, if, if Keith Rucker wants some, or if anybody wants them, we can do a trade. I, Cause there's just so many there and it's, it's a shame to see these go. I don't mind paying cause this is like, this is like 10 bucks in metal. Cause they, they charge 50 cents a pound. And uh, I'm pretty sure somebody will want these. So these will be good for me to salvage and keep from the, from going to a, a forge and being melted down because uh, evidently a, a couple of the steel smelteries or whatever they're called have fired back up since China stopped trading uh, steel as much and so like all the like Trump's trade war or whatever is actually kind of reviving local industry and uh, so I, I see a lot more of Mullen's scrap taking sh uh, loads to them now if I, if I understand right so that's nice, but it also means that a lot of that stuff is at risk now. It's not just piling up, it's it's actually at risk of uh, being melted down. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you very much for watching. See ya. Oh, one more thing I was going to mention was that I'm thinking about having, whenever I rebuild my brick shed, that will be an engine room and have a drive shaft running into the workshop. I just, I, I need to find something that uses flat belts. I might be able to make something, but if anybody has a machine that uses flat belts and wants to build a line shaft system, I can hook you up with fully, uh, with the, the belt, uh, the pulleys and stuff, because, well, I can also probably hook you up with belts, because there's this huge rolled up conveyor belt from like a mine or something at the scrapyard, and cut that into three pieces and you have yourself some six inch nice it's like newer it's weird but you'll have a, a there'll be that'll be like 100 feet three things 100 foot of uh flat belt so i'm probably gonna get that because that's pretty good